All right, so here is my last time not using a tripod to record my videos now because this is a review of a tripod. So I just need to be able to show it. This is the Moby Boto. I bought this just the other day at Best Buy. And it looks like I just wanted a better setup for recording on my phone. That's it. And as you can see, it holds phones and I, I'm, using, I'm recording this on my phone, so I can't really show you properly. So, but I mean, I'll just show you how it works. But, but it's a, it's a nice little unit because you, know, you take it out of the box. At first, you just see this, then you wonder. You're looking at it like, hey, where's the remote and where's where's this extension? Because it has this little extension right here for attaching a GoPro, which is great because I have one of those. And. Uh, you take it out and you're like, where is it? But, but uh, I, already, I already removed them because I want to have to put them back in. But they were tucked inside the arm, the arms of the legs. See the Bluetooth remote actually fit inside there. So I just popped it out and it already comes with a battery plus an extra battery, which I don't even know if I'll ever use. But now I have an extra battery that I could use for something. But because I won't be really using it to take selfies that much, really. Because that's basically what this is for. I'm mainly just using it for videos now. Like any kind of video I want to shoot. And, you know, I've already used it a couple times. And I already love it. Just because, just you know, it's, when you go from nothing to something new, you're going to love it. But, but it's still a nice little unit. And right also in the other, in one of the other legs. Yeah, this leg here, it had this part hidden inside. I pulled it out. I was afraid I'd break it, but but this is the part that goes on top. Because as you can see right now, it's just a screw. So you could could you could also use this for a nice camera too, like a nice big see so you, you can use a DSLR on it as well because that has the standard screw that you can screw into the bottom of any digital camera basically. And you, you have lots of loosening options. So I mean first you you open the legs, you know, like standard. They just stand right there. This part here turns so you can so you can turn this more, basically. Yeah, see how wobbly it is? Then you tighten it and then it's like so you know, I keep it I just keep it straight. I just one thing I thought would be nice if maybe it has some way of helping you level it out immediately like perfectly so you know it's perfectly straight because I could be shooting it in my phone and it's a little bit tilted so maybe if there was like a tiny bubble or something to just show that line it up just so you know it's you know I guess that's good too if you wanted to turn your phone like that for whatever reason just to like when you have it standard you can move it around different angles See, that's good because right, you can just immediately move the up and down and not have to screw around. So like like I said, just for this, this was like 25 bucks basically plus tax, so... I mean, it's pretty decent for just a straight up phone. Well, it's a tripod for everything actually, but I don't have a DSLR to plug it into, but I would if I did. So here's the, the kind of extension. It just screws into the bottom like that easily and I don't know I, I could I could try to take up the phone and you know attach it or whatever but I might have accidentally turn it off but that's this here stretches out so you can put different size phones in it and they just slides in the middle and I don't know when I put my phone in it the top of it almost touches the power button I guess I could flip the phone over. I don't know. I always, by habit, turn it a certain way. I don't know why. But yeah, this thing is uh, great because you can just put like any kind of phone in there. I think. I mean, I don't know if there's any other phone phones out there that might not totally fit in there, but if it's mine, plus you can just uh, close those up, and then if you wanted to attach a GoPro to the top, you just I already unscrewed it from its base and then you can attach it into the top like that 
and then it has it comes with its own screw even though the GoPro has a screw as well so you know screw it in like that just to show see now you got the GoPro on a on a little tripod or you know you can just close the legs up and go like this whatever so you know that's really it's pretty sweet for you know the action GoPro shots people like to take you can do that or you know you can turn this you can turn this thing on the side and then rotate the phone however you way you want it yeah I didn't I didn't screw this in very well but see it came out on its own but it doesn't matter I was just showing how it works but you can take it in and out very easily so that's a great feature so yeah, being, able, being able to attach multiple things to this is like pretty sweet because I, I almost bought another stand and I'm not sure if it was going to be I only like that the stand because it had a super bendable legs to put in anything but I don't really need that I mean I'm not I won't be doing too many shots outside and I'll just put it on a flat floor flat ground you know or whatever it's like a good solid stand it's got rubber on the base so it doesn't slip and like putting it into the stand I don't know if there's a way to do that yeah as long as I don't touch that power button because I can you can kind of slip it in pretty easily like that see boom I just put it in pushed it up a little and slapped it in so now it's in and now I can rotate it around I guess you could I guess that that's okay for if you like instantly wanted to do this type of shot you know that's not bad that's cool too I usually just always keep it at the widescreen and then you know take the screw on the side screw it in now it's solid and this this can turn if you want but it's only because you're you're unscrewing it when you do that See this? Can you turn this too? Yeah, I mean you can completely manipulate the head however way you want when you adjust the screw on the side. Even if you just tighten it a little and not all the way, it'll be solid enough. And then you could slightly adjust it with a bit of force, you know. Oh, I want it that way now. So this is a pretty handy little little stand. I'd say if you're like just starting out and want something basic then this is a great choice moba photo is called I don't know, i'll have a link below so it's somewhere probably amazon if it's on there and i got 20 25 bucks it says here the remote shutter which i only really used once works up to 20 feet away so you know if, if you're out with some friends I mean, even even just taking this with you and not even the stand could be useful to have around. But you know, because you know maybe you're just out normally and you don't want to carry a stand because it's so big. But this could fit in the pocket easily. Actually, if this was a key a keychain, that'd be a little perfect. If that was like a keychain, then you could have it on you, so you could take remote selfies anytime you want. So it's you know you get that along with it, which is on, cool on its own, I think. Plus, I just, I like how they actually, like, put it into the leg. As you can see, that's how it looks. Smart clip. Yeah. So, I'm, I'm pretty happy with this device, for sure. It just, for a simple stand that I needed, it does, has lots of different options that are cool. And I'm generally going to just be keeping it where it is right now. But... It's good that I have the options now. So that's my review of the mobile photo. It's really great if you're new to like recording yourself. And even if you have a DSLR, it'll work on You can screw it into that or a different type of digital camera or just a regular phone. Or you can attach your GoPro to the top. So that's great. So that's a lots of different options for a $25 stand. So I recommend it.
It's 10 minutes now. I should turn this off. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, share, click the link below, all that fun stuff.